Hello, I am Quinny. Welcome to the channel. In this video today, guys, we're going to be looking at a club profile for 2022. I followed Wilsburg really closely last season and I've got to say it was a real disappointment of a season. Manager Cole felt, felt like he was one game away for the sack all season. Last year, he got Werder Bremen relegated and got given this you know, it's really stellar squad of young talent and they failed miserably. Lots of different tactical changes of formation. Nemeka get injured once or twice. Schlager missed most of the season through injury. Weghorst sold in January, of course, quite famously to Burnley. Max Cruz, the 33 year old veteran, comes back in to bring in Wind as well, who hit the ground running in a big way. And it was just really one of those seasons where nothing happened. They've not got European football next year. They've got a new manager in place. Nico Kovac is back in the Bundesliga with Wolfsburg. And we're going to be looking at the prospect of Wolfsburg getting into the top eight or something similar to that in the next season under Kovac. At any point in the video today, guys, if you laugh, you learn, you like something or whatever, please do like and subscribe, share, retweet, all that good stuff, guys. Stay out of trouble and let's get stuck into it. If you could hit the subscribe button, I do daily global football content, everything from wonder kids and rising star managers to fantasy football and watch alongs. That will also automatically enter you into my April giveaway. A rare new season edition MLS Cup champion Anton Tinnerholm and two limited goalkeepers. If you want to stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, just to give you a brief synopsis of last season, Wolfsburg finished the season on the same amount of points as Frankfurt, who just won the Europa League, of course. Frankfurt had a pretty good season by all accounts, and it's quite well known that for the last two or three months, they really did let their league form just go down the pan. They just put all their eggs in the Europa League basket, and fair play to them, it paid off. But Wolfsburg have like been in the bottom three a lot of this season, and them getting this close to Frankfurt, who just threw the towel in, not a true reflection. So you might look at it and think, oh, well, they actually won their last couple of games and they drew with Bayern, it couldn't have been, but they played 4-2-3-1, they played 4-4-2 uh, diamond, they played 4-4-2 flat, they played 3-4-3, 3-4-2-1, they were all over the place, lots of different combinations, no real idea of a structure on who to play and how to play. Hopefully for this season, it looks like the whole squad is fully fit and available. The new manager Kovac, now Kovac has got this kind of mixed reputation in Europe now because of how poorly he did at Monaco, again at Monaco, it was quite similar of some of the same things that Kovac felt was guilty of at Wolfsburg in the sense that Monaco under Niko Kovac played a lot of like 4-4-2 and 4-1-1 and you know a lot of f formations that you wouldn't associate with Kovac you know Kovac when he first really came on the scene with Frankfurt got back to back uh, cup finals for them got into the Europa League with them won the cup the next you know the second final he won it against Bayern before taking the Bayern job and in that squad he had guys like Rebic and Jovic and Seb Haller and they were a really fun and exciting team to watch that 4-2-3-1 that kind of bombastic counter-attack transition football didn't really work too well at Bayern because you've got the ball the whole time so you can't really <laughs> kill people in transition in the same way and don't get me wrong he still I think he still won the cup in the league with Bayern so it's not so he did terribly but goes to Monaco and you know it just didn't really work out no no one was really happy with him. It never really got, even though they were winning games and stuff, no one was ever really happy with the whole situation, the whole dynamic. So here he now finds himself at Wolfsburg. Now, when I look at the squad and the way they've been playing the last couple of months especially, like, you know, the form did pick up when everyone was fit and available. Having Javer Schlager back in next to Max Arnold was a huge improvement. Rido Baku, like, it, you know, is one of the most exciting winger, attacking fullback type guys that's in the Bundesliga. And he started the season amazing. Had a great summer with the under 23s, under 21s or whatever with Germany. Went really cold, went injured for a while and really came back onto the scene at the back end of the season. And I think next year, him, along with guys like Nemeka and Wind and uh, Maxon Lacroix, the, the defender, like he's been heavily linked to guys like Newcastle and whatever, really promising big French centre-back. He's got a bit of a disciplinary problem and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these links is kind of rumours and stuff like that because I've wa I watched him a fair bit. He's good, he's very good, but... I don't see clubs jumping out to spend the sort of money on him that has been touted. And then on top of that, you add in guys like Max Arnold and uh, Max Cruz. You've got a you've got a real strong basis of a three four two one team there with Kovac, who will have them playing hopefully on that kind of Frankfurt vein of you know transition play and play to your strengths, 
uh, repetitive routes to go, that sort of thing. So I think the guys that are currently in the squad that you'd expect to be first teamers will strongly benefit from that. They definitely have a, a need and a requirement for another defender. The big thing that really let Frankfurt down, the big thing that really let Wolfsburg down was they just their defence was terrible. They just conceded goals all the time, and they was, you know they could score goals and stuff. You know they never really had much of a problem in that sense, but you know they could not keep the back door closed. I mean you look at some of the the, the results they did carry. You know it was massive. De- I think Dortmund bent them over like 6-0 six, six or 6-1 or something. Um, they could really concede them in. So they have a dire need for some more defensive rigidity. I think a new defender is required to come in there with Mickey van de Ven, uh, Borno, Lacro, Brooks. I don't think all of them will stay. Maybe Lacro goes for big money. Brooks is out of contract soon. Maybe they sell him on. But also on that left-hand side, you know, Kevin Paredes has been brought in for the MLS. Yannick Gerhardt has been decent and I've actually been quite impressed by him and I've watched him, but... He's not one of these guys with an obvious position, like left wing back or left winger and left forward. He's played in a few different spots. But the front three of Cruz, Wind and Nemeka feels purpose built for Kovac. And that's one of the parts of this team, along with Max Arnold, that I'm particularly excited to watch for Wolfsburg next year. Not having that burden of European midweek football should give them the platform to have a really great start to the season. And with a lot of these Bundesliga teams, a lot of these teams in the top five leagues in Europe that do have a season or two where they wane or they fall below expectations, the benefit of just going weekend to weekend with fixtures is a great opportunity to reset. And sometimes these teams really do struggle when they continuously have European football to contend with as well in the mix for that. And I think we've seen that a little bit this season with Mitch and Gladbach. So I'm pretty excited to see Wolfsburg next year and see how well they'll do. I'd expect them, as I say, to get into the top ends of the of the Bundesliga. This year we did we did see some traditionally smaller clubs do a lot better, and that's always great to see that and take nothing away from those people's achievements. But typically, you know, there is clubs in the bottom half of that division that have the wage bill, have the talent roster that would dictate that they probably should finish higher with the correct management in place and Wolfsburg is one of these teams that I think is going to have a transformational year they might not go from being like 14th or whatever they finished to like 4th but you know they could definitely finish 7th or something like that in the right circumstances another another centre back and our left winger maybe a real hard hitting ball winning defender if Schlager was to get injured Aster Vranks looks really good but again I don't think he's an out and out ball winner I think he's much more box to box and if you're going to be playing with two centre mids in that 3-4-2-1 shape Max Arnold being one of them you really need a leggy ball winning centre mid to accompany him so I'll be interested to see what the transfer business will be let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what you think will be in store for Wolfsburg next year who do you think would be a great acquisition for them don't forget to like subscribe share retweet all that good stuff guys stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one take care bye bye Let's get into all the giveaway stuff before I let you go. I'm still doing monthly giveaways and I'm making it easier to enter. If you want to be entered to win this month's prize or any future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, you need to be a subscriber to enter, then leave a comment down below. Each month, a random comment from a random video will be selected as the winner, so the more videos you leave a comment on, the better the chance you've got of winning any of my giveaways. All the winners are announced at the end of videos the same way as we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. As always guys, if you've enjoyed the video today, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. On screen there now is some other stuff that I've made that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.